Mark, when Cal City Police Chief Jesse Hightower first interviewed Jacqueline West, he said that he believed her demeanor to be, quote, neutral. A lieutenant at the time, he said he didn't feel he observed frustration or anger when it came to the disappearance of her boys. She talked to her kids about Orrin and Orson. She said, I told them, pretend they're not here. The trial for Trizel and Jacqueline West, the Cal City couple charged with second degree murder of their adoptive sons, Orrin and Orson, unfolding with new body camera footage. Responding officer Jesse Hightower, now chief of police, testifying Tuesday that it's what he didn't see from Jacqueline that stood out to him. He said he observed no frustration, no anxiety, no anger. Lead the officers to investigate, which keeps them talking to uh, Jacqueline and Trezell West. Hightower then sent Officer Brian Hansen to interview the West's other four children. Hightower testifying it's these interviews that caused them to change course. So again, four children of Jacqueline and Trezell, all four said that they were not with them when they went December 19th and they hadn't even been with them in California City. There's issues with these interviews. The defense pushing back, asking Hightower if he'd ever watched the interviews Hansen conducted with the other children. Hightower stating he hadn't. Just also, they don't have answers for how inconsistent some of this investigation is. Hightower saying they began reevaluating the investigation because Hansen told him the other children said Orrin and Orson were never in Cal City. However, the defense pointing out that these statements were not recorded in the interview forms, but only shared to Hightower by Hansen. Sometimes they say some things that are true, but Cal City doesn't want to hear. The defense also asking Hightower Hightower if he knew about a disagreement that first night between Trezell and Officer Hansen. Hightower saying he didn't. Now, body camera footage shown today all, as well also showed officers returning the next day to the Trezell, to Trezell and Jacqueline's home, searching, finding a firearm, and then hiding it within a bunk bed before continuing their interviews with Trezell and Jacqueline. Hightower said that this was a safety precaution. The trial is set to resume tomorrow morning at 9.30 a.m. Live in Bakersfield, I'm Veronica Morley, 23BC, connecting you.